Hey there Shoebie Doodlers, how are you doing? Well I hope you've been enjoying my last few videos all about background drawing and showing you how to draw cityscapes, townscapes, things like that. And this is another one for you and this is how to draw a strip mall or as we like to call them here in the UK an out of town shopping centre. <laughs> Let's not talk about it. Let's do it. Okay, well, I'm going to give myself a bit of a guide here and I'm going to draw a line across there. Don't press too hard because you're going to want to erase these pencil lines later. And I'm going to go roughly. Oh, what's that? It's not quite this. That's halfway. Then it's, mm, it's not a third. Well, it might be a third, actually, about a third, something like that. And and then I'm going to go. Yeah, let's do it all in thirds. How about that? So I'll draw a line across and a line across and I hope that they're fairly parallel. And then I've got this kind of random bit of paper here. And let me see, I prefer centimeters. It's about 30 millimeters between three millimeters, 30 millimeters. There's a repeat every 33 millimeters. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start about here. And I'm gonna just, oh, no, I need to draw that one as well. There we go. And you don't need to be extremely accurate. But the thing about a strip mile is that they're kind of <laughs> all built pretty much identical. And so uh, each unit is is pretty much exactly the same. So if you want if you want a big unit, then you buy three kind of sections. And if you want a small unit, you just have one little section and maybe even some if you could <laughs> go in with somebody else you could maybe kind of split one unit and make it even smaller and we're going to want to have these bits coming up here so these are basically the walls that separate all the units and behind each <laughs> of these is a box it's a great big metal box and we'll say that this is this is this is our little mall here and i am going to start here and i'm going to make those a bit taller up there and I'm going to make this kind of the main sort of feature this is this is the big this is the big store on the block and so here we got little um what do we call it? you know those sort of little canopy blinds that kind of come down and they've all got that so there's there's a certain uniformity about the whole thing here and that's going to be there and this is going to be t <laughs> t max i think something like that t t max does that sound like a store that you know and And then we want this to come out about there. So this is the big store. And that will come out about there. It's going to come down there. And again, we've got these blinds. Canopy things coming down there like that. And we're going to want to have an entrance have a big entrance like that and then the rest of it is going to be just bricked up because they're not uh, because this is the one entrance into a big store they've got kind of four units that go back like that and i think we ought to have some um, kind of pot plants and things around just to kind of make it look a bit more interesting so let's ink this one in i'll take that across there like that and then a curve down curve down and we'll have another double line going across there I think I'm going to draw in these kind of flower things down here the um, it's, it's you know it's where people you know hide their empty coke cans and things <laughs> I guess somebody has to Come and clean them up and it's it's an effort at kind of adding a bit of greenery and culture and stuff like that to the place and i'm going to draw these blinds the canopies and they're going to go like that across there 
and then we're going to want to have a kind of a, a pillar base down here. So what happens is that sort of comes to there like that. And this is going to come down there. And again, we're going to want like a base down there. And this could actually be maybe brick or something like that all the way up. Let's just get a little bit of interest in the thing. Because <laughs> there's otherwise it's a bit um a bit dull and here we can have another one like that and there's the base there and that can be a kind of a brick bit there this is going to be the floor as it were and again here we're going to want like a double bit there and a double bit there around there and a double piece there And then this can come down. Oh, and we want that bit there again, don't we? So that can come down there. Like that. And we're going to make that into sort of, it's I don't know, it's brick or concrete blocks or something like that. But it sort of gives it a bit of texture, I suppose. And again, we've got those canopies coming down there. Um, that's going to be blank there and let's have another bit of greenery and this is just going to be bricked in like that so we can put some little bricks uh, brick 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 it's the ground and this is going to be bricked in as well and you don't need to draw every brick <laughs> just draw a kind of a, a hint of bricks uh, so if you just do kind of one two three just to give that sort of feeling of you know that sort of brick pattern and just sort of one or two there like that and then here we're going to want to have that's kind of the wall going there, and that's going to be a main big window on the side. And then here we've got doors, and they're going to be like that. And let's put some lettering up there. Here we have our big, <laughs> and here we have the big store. This is what draws everybody in um, so we, actually let's put some shading in these in the window bits there so this is the big store in the strip that's this is the one that's going to draw in all the customers and the other stores are going to be there because TT Max is there and they know they're going to pull in the customers so what can we do now i'm going to draw another one going up there and yeah over here like let's do that and maybe we can put a little thing on there now that's going to go there up and down and across up and down and across and we're going to have another one of these um, <laughs> canopies sunshade canopies these have been put up here by the person who owns the uh, strip mall um, and here we're going to have ooh, lots of flowers and stuff here so this is going to be a flower stall flowers and I think we can maybe brick some of this in like that and bring that across there down there and a window so that'll be the doors and that'll be a window something like that and then this can be bricked in underneath there so that was quite simple and here we're going to have a, a double front so it's going to go across there and basically everybody wants their store to look different to the one next door <laughs> and he, even though they're identical around the back. So we kind of have different tops and shapes and things to add some interest. And I think we're going to want to, um, if we cross 
Yeah, so if we kind of halve that and halve that, so we want these triangles on the top like that. And that's going to go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down like that. And then we're going to want uh, extra thickness in there. Maybe we'll have little, I don't know, they could be lights or something like that maybe. And we're going to have a little roof behind there too. And I'm just going to kind of shade that in with just straight lines to maybe it's sort of corrugated something in there like that. We can have a double kind of thing happening there. And we're going to have the doors again double doors going psh, opening up i think we should have another um you know sort of flower beddy kind of thing there i think so yeah i think they're going to need a big kind of window in there as well and we can see lots of shoes i think we can have this as a shoe store um call it Boutique shoes. And again, I think this is just going to be bricked in. I, mean, I suppose it could be one enormous window, couldn't it? So actually, let's let's have this as lots of an enormous window. Two big, two big panes of window. So we can look at the shoes through the window. They don't have a canopy. <laughs> Maybe they need one. <laughs> and uh, we're going to have another big one at the end, actually, here. So let's do, yeah, let's do another big one here. Um, and this is going to come up a bit there like that. And we're going to want that to be a curve across there. And then a curve sort of across there like that. Let's see how that goes. Um, across and yeah we'll have that kind of thing there and we'll take that around and maybe a double thickness and a double thickness and then we can bring that down and down down and they're going to have <laughs> a canopy so this is this is a four unit this is going to be a three unit and we want that to be there so we can bring that across there have a little thing on the cap on the end wall here just check that we're still on the camera and bring that along there so let's bring some more plant things, planters there, just to make it look pretty. And we're going to do that there. So basically, it's kind of everything is <laughs> everything about strip mall is <laughs> trying to keep it cheap, really. And so it's all about facades, and and so it always was. You know, I, what I love is, you know, those old western movies that you see. And, and they're kind of exactly the same and they're kind of a fancy a fancy storefront and then round the back there might be just a tent <laughs> in in the wild west um you know and you know over time they would build up something a bit more fancy maybe but it, it could be anything round the back and it's all about the facade to say hey look at our great store and you don't know until you step inside that it's really just a tent <laughs> So let's do something like that and across and across. And so that, you know, has kind of stayed and it's, it's trying to create a a really cheap <laughs> thing to keep your keep your costs down so that you can uh, make a profit. You know, if you're spending all your money on fancy buildings, then um, you know, you're not going to make any profit. But whereas if you get a cheap building and you make it look fancy, <laughs> then maybe you'll make a profit. 
Here you are, that's my business words of wisdom. <laughs> you can go out and, well, no, I'm going to say you can go out and going to make a fortune when making this video in during the COVID lockdowns and everything. So, yeah, it's not quite that simple, is it? And I think we're just going to have one little store on the end here. So I'm going to put a cap there and oh, take my pencil away and put that there and I'll do that across there like that. And they're going to have a little canopy outside too. So I guess the guy who uh, owns, or oh, maybe the lady who owns the strip mall is providing the canopies. <laughs> maybe they, they have a canopy store around the corner and they're charging their clients. Uh, they're, they're the people who are renting the buildings. Um, we're going to want to have, I think we're going to have just a one big wide door, I think. How about that? Can we do that? Can you have a, I don't know, I'm making this up. I don't know if you can get, well, I suppose you can get anything if you pay for it. I'm just thinking of being able to get, this is going to be a tool store. There's going to be tools. I'm just thinking of getting the tools out of the, <laughs> out of the door. So you could have just one psh, automatic door. And I'm just going to put this a bit of shading in there and again we maybe have some brickwork and if I just got a bit of room here I could have another planter with a tree in or something like that. I've got a bit of room here for another one haven't I? Uh, maybe we could do something more like it's, it's like a little miniature tree. <laughs> what do we have over here? I think we're gonna have a hobby store and again, let's have a bit of something, just a tiny bit of pattern going on there. Nothing expensive. And again, I think we're going to have just <laughs> brick. The, uh, the owner of the mall has got a real, you know, eye for <laughs> quality design break we'll just don't break <laughs> how much does it cost to plaster it <laughs> we'll have break so when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry you can erase all those pencil lines and then for my patrons on patreon i am going to color this in in watercolor so if you want to know how to do that you can come to patreon and you can support this channel and help me keep making all these videos there we go. Thanks for watching. Click up here and you will see uh, the playlist for all these uh, backgrounds and cityscapes and things. Click down here and make sure you are subscribed to the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel and keep coming back every week for lots more videos. Make sure you ring that bell, get notifications when I post new videos. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.